Hi, my name's Belinda. I'm one of the education officers here and I've also been a vet nurse uh, for a number of years. And I'm going to demonstrate to you how to apply a pressure bandage or compression bandage uh, to a stuffed animal, which you might need to do in an emergency situation to stop blood from a wound, etc. It's important to remember that we would never practice on a live animal, but you may have materials at home that you can practice on your soft toys and a teddy bear works just as well. There's a number of layers involved and I'll tell you what each layer is doing as I pop it on. So if we look at the first layer, it's a non-adherent or non-stick dress has a shiny side and a soft side and so we pop the shiny side onto the side of the wound so that it doesn't stick. The next layer we put on is an absorbance layer so it's actually just absorbing any liquid like blood that's coming from the wound. A really good way to roll bandages is to have what we call the barrel up so that when you're putting it on it's easier to control the tension. This one doesn't need to be very tight so we secure the dressing in place, we roll it around, we always make sure that we include the pore and we roll it around to make sure that that dressing is completely covered. We go 50% over each of the last roll around to make sure that it's well covered and the pressure is nice and even. So once we've finished, we can see that the dressing's covered by the absorbency layer. The next layer is actually the compression layer. So this is a conforming gauze. It's a bit stretchy, puts pressure on the wound to stop that bleeding. So we're gonna start it at the pore and make sure that the pore is evenly covered. Sometimes that's a bit tricky and a lot of practice is involved. You need to fold the bandage and make sure that there's no uh, big lumps and bumps that can be uncomfortable for the animal. Once we've got an even coverage of the pore, again with the barrel up so that we can control the tension, we open that weave, make sure there's a little bit of pressure on there and we cover completely that underlying layer. And then we have what we call a cohesive bandage rather than an adhesive bandage. Sticks to itself, but not actually to the dog's hair. We open it up so that we don't have to pull really hard around the dog's limb. And again, we want the barrel up, but I always start with the barrel down so that I can fold it neatly in a part where over the top of the paw where the animal's not going to put um, pressure on it by standing and then bring it around. Each layer or each wrap around covers 50% of the layer before. If we do uh, have to pull too tight you can end up constricting the limb too much and the circulation will stop. So once we get there and we can see that all of the underlying layers are covered we can Cut off that bandage. We do need to check that it's not too tight and if we can slip our fingers underneath uh, and feel some pressure but it's not gripping on them too tight then that'll be okay to stay on until you get to a vet.